Welcome to Emmitsburg, Maryland on the campus of Mount St. Mary's University for the 2019 Men's Lacrosse Championship. It's the four seed and defending champion Robert Morris Colonials and the two seed, the Hobart Statesman. Fernandez up to Stanny Gilbertson, first team D Mitty for Hobart. He shoots and Ooh. scores! Stanny Gilbertson with number 10, the senior from Palos Verdes Estates, California, turning defense into offense and slinging low for the equalizer. Comes near alley. Ooh. Ryan Archer inside and they score. Jason Knox, the all rookie selection. He has six up goals this year and adding to it. You can really see the Canadian influence in their offense. They play a lot of two. Ryan oh. Smith, top corner for the goal. They play a lot of two man game. What a goal by Smith. Robert Morrison Hobart, the Colonials looking to become the first team in league history to win the championship as the four seed. And again, they're as dangerous a draw as you can get. Winners of seven in a row, a program record, and of course, the defending champions. Hobart with some record-setting offense potentially today in the NEC. That's a good goal on a crease dive. Then the flag comes, good goal. 3-2 lead Hobart. Coming out of X. Is it still a little surprising to see so few goals on the board? Yeah, this is a little bit on the lower scoring end, but like a, you know, like we were talking about in the first half, these goalies have made some unbelievable stops. I mean, right on the doorstep, you know, five-yard step downs that are usually goals, um, you know, that would make this game a, a higher scoring game. But whew, Archer going for a swim scoring, and a goal. Yeah, he took a dip there. Skirt, skirt. I'm going to say this right now, win, lose, or draw at the end of this game. These keepers deserve, I mean, geez, Louise. I don't know what they deserve, but they're playing. An ice bath out of at the their, very least. <laughs> out of their minds. There it is for Robert Morris. Corson Keeley finally solves Lucchese. Keeley with a goal, and we've got a two-goal championship game. Hobart leading 6-5, to five, a trip to the NCAA men's lacrosse tournament on the line. The fourth quarter has been troublesome for Hobart. They were outscored 5-0 against Sacred Heart in the semis, almost coughing up what was at the time a seven-goal advantage, hanging on to a 14-13 lead. Robert Morris outscored him 4-0 in the regular season finale, and they get the first of the fourth to tie it. It's the Fogo! Trey Arnold with the game-tying goal, 6-6. And the confidence they have late in games. They're oozing with confidence right now. Ryan Smith Ooh. dumps it off. Great Ooh. pass to the goal! Eddie Smith finishes. Smith to Smith. Four unanswered for Robert Morris. And a 7-6 lead for the Colonials. Hobart really needs a fourth quarter goal. But right now, Robert Morris not giving them possession. It goes down low to Boudreaux. Give and go with Keeley for the goal. And five consecutive for Robert Morris. Chugga, 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 chugga. Two, two. <laughs> Robert Morris train coming through. And it's coming down the tracks with momentum. It's a Beautiful feed from Keeley. Yeah, two man game there. And then once again, you see Robert Morris is taking their time on, their, on the keeper on these finishes. One fake, two fake, three fake and finish. Before they were just catching and shooting, which is why uh, Sam was making a lot of those saves. Now they're moving the goalie, taking their time and putting the ball in the back of the net. Justin Scott for Tommy Mott, Wiley Sherman, Ryan Archer. Now Justin Scott, he gets one off and he scores! Justin Scott makes it a one goal game. Here comes Hobart. Should I go the other way? Chugga, 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 oh, oh. chugga, chugga. Choo, choo. <laughs> <laughs> the tracks, you know, there's two sides of the tracks. There's two sides of the track, baby. Here comes the Hobart train. Wow, just a great dodge to get to his strength. I mean, even against the pole, gets his hands free. I think the keeper might have lost it there a little bit, but like I said, when the, when the game is on the line, you're going to give everything you've got, and Hobart's not going down without a fight. Robert Morris in possession. The flag against Hobart. 
They need to play keep away for a little less than six seconds. Ryan Smith brings it in. They started the conference season 0-2. And they have won eight in a row to win the championship again. The title defended by the Robert Morris Colonials. Winners of the Northeast Conference Men's Lacrosse Championship in 2019. Pat Young is standing by with the player of the game and the head coach. Go ahead, Pat. All right, uh, what a conclusion to that game. Congratulations, first and foremost. We'll start with you. Um, so take me through your mindset throughout the game. I mean, you were making some unbelievable saves. You go into the halftime down by two. What were you thinking? You know, not just to not do anything different. Just keep playing the way we've all been playing all year. And uh, the scoreboard ended up the way we wanted, and that's all we could ask for. Just, right. Yeah, just playing the way we wanted to. Got you, got you. And coach, um, you stood over here at halftime, stone cold. Didn't uh, didn't have too much jitters. You know, you weren't too nervous. Talk to me about your mindset and why you had so much confidence in your team coming back in that second half. Yeah, I mean, these guys have given us every reason to put that trust in them throughout the entire year. I mean, we started out in the season one and seven with our record in the first half, and you know, these guys have showed nothing but just resiliency to just keep fighting no matter what our situation's been. We were down the last two weeks in a row at halftime, and then in the fourth quarter, and they they proved that this is what we do. So I can only do so much from the sideline. These guys are the ones doing the work out on the field for us. Right. Well. Well, how do you continue to get them to keep doing that um, you know when there's tougher opponents or during the NCAA tournament when the stakes are a bit higher yeah I mean we're just gonna stay true to who we are again that's who they've shown to be I mean I, I think the character of the guys in this locker room is just you know hands down I mean it, everything you could ask for as a coach and you know we expect more more moving forward to just keep doing the exact same thing well once again congratulations and uh, enjoy it thank you appreciate it nice job thank you very much